Is LeBron trying to get Luke Walton fired? Tiger Woods doesn't move the needle. Tiger Woods is the needle. Tom is not all in on doing it the way Bill Belichick wants it to be done. Is LeBron trying to get Luke Walton fired? Because I'm pretty sure LeBron signed off on all these latest moves that the Lakers have made, right? This is like the NBA version of the Expendables. (laughs) If I made a list of the most difficult to coach players in the entire National Basketball Association, The four that the Lakers have signed would be at or near the top. LeBron James would hold him accountable. Now, LeBron has had history with Michael Beasley. His last year in Miami, Mm -hmm. he played with Beasley. Beasley. Mm -hmm. He didn't seem to have a problem with him. And if you remember last year when he was a free agent, LeBron talked about all these guys out there, Raymond Felton, Michael Beasley, and we don't get any, we don't get any of them. So it seems appears to me that LeBron feels very comfortable with Michael Beasley being on his squad. It is a volatile mix. Mm-hmm. There's no it, it, it's so potentially volatile, and there's so many individual storylines that when you were talking about all the different players and how many teams they've been on, I had forgotten about LeVar. <laughs> That's how volatile this thing could be. That's how many personalities are in there that LeVar is now just one of many yeah. storylines. Yeah. They're bringing on tough guys who compete, nothing to lose, frankly, kind of intimidating tough guys. They're kind of odd. Lance is odd. Rondo's wired differently. LeBron said years ago, Beasley's one of the most talented guys I've ever played with. Oh, he's incredibly talented. There's so no question. they're bringing on all these edgy guys who are willing to get into a, a fist fight with a Warriors finesse skinny jeans team. It's obvious. <laughs> Beasley, I will give him credit because he went from number two overall pick, supposed to be a star, looked like he was never going to find his way in the league, and then accepted his role as a role player. And he has played with LeBron before. What do I expect from Beasley, though? What I expect from most guys who sign one-year, $3 million deals. Like, not much. And if they're in the rotation, that's a bonus. But the Lakers the Lakers season is not going to be made or missed by these, these types of players. May he score the basketball. He's got tremendous size. LeBron and him do have some... Um, rapport together because he was on the team with LeBron but if you look at all the players that LeBron has added in the last eight years like most of these guys had some uh, even Ray Allen there was question marks about Ray Allen before he started becoming a spectacular six man um, there in Miami. Tiger Woods doesn't move the needle as Armin Katayan said in our show Tiger Woods is the needle. When Pele quit playing soccer, people still watch soccer. When when Shaq retired from basketball, people still watch basketball. Tiger's the only athlete in the world ever. That is the difference between you watching a sport and not watching a sport. I saw major championship body language from him yesterday. I have not seen for 10 years because he has not won a major championship for more than 10 years, which is also hard to process. Mm -hmm. This is Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods dominated this sport the way no man ever has or ever will for three years. That's just me. I've never seen anything like it. You want to talk about force of nature? When he roared, everybody dropped to their knees and said, let there be Tiger. The guy that won it was in his group. They don't fear him anymore, Skip. Normally, there's no way, five years, 10 years ago, if this guy's, in, if Molinari's in Tiger's group mm-hmm. and Tiger makes this run, it's over. You see what happened to Jordan Spieth? He hears the roars. He's looking up at the leaderboard and they flip it. Plunk, plunk. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. He he start moonwalking like Michael Jackson at the Grammy. This is a win for Tiger. I thought he would win a tournament this summer. I, I thought it'd be tough to win a major because we have so many good young players and the courses that we were playing the majors on this year, they were not great setups for Tiger Woods. But for him to finish in the position, a T6, to finish where he did, playing the way he did, even getting with a lead on Sunday, I think this is all a tremendous positive for Tiger in the comeback. I didn't know that we would ever get that moment again. And now it feels like It's a real thing, not just something you hope and wish for, that Tiger Woods winning not just another tournament, but winning another major can happen.
training camp in the NFL is not what it used to be. It's not the dog days of, uh, of August. Like, no, training camp is so easy now. You can't have too many padded practices. You're not going to be practicing twice in one day with helmets and shoulder pads on. The lack of contact. And there's so many teams now that don't go away to some uh, college campus. They do it at their facility. So it's so much like the regular season that it, no, it's not that important. I understand why it wouldn't be that important, but I also understand why he would be excited. There's a lot of things different about this year's training camp than last year's. First, this is probably the first time in a while he maybe misses football a little bit because aside from the mandatory mini camp, he has been removed from it. Secondarily, like anyone that's married with kids can tell you this, you always want more time with your wife and kids. And then you have a few months with the wife and kids and you're like, it's nice to get back to work. I watched the Patriots very, very closely for years. And it was always Belichick's team. Kraft owned it, but it was Belichick's team. Um, but over the last, uh, I would say 18 months, it's changed. It's become Brady's team. That's always been our theory. And our belief was Robert Kraft and Brady have more in common, even though they have a great age disparity, than Robert Kraft and Belichick. Tom Brady once was all in on how Bill Belichick wanted to win and what winning looked like and what it was going to be to Bill Belichick and for the New England Patriots. I think the friction and the tension comes now, the, the common goal is still gonna always be the same, winning. But now Tom is not all in on doing it the way Bill Belichick wants it to be done.